What is going on guys, Joe here with a tutorial showing you how to easily make a bootable OS X Mavericks 10.9 USB flash drive. Now when I say bootable, I mean you are able to boot up and install OS X Mavericks onto your Mac computer. So you may be asking why is this even helpful or useful? Well simply because you'll most likely not want to download OS X Mavericks on each of your Mac computers that you want to upgrade to Mavericks. Uh, because the software is 5.29 gigabytes of a file size which will take around an hour or more depending on your internet connection to fully download so instead of downloading it to each of your computers then making a bootable OS X Mavericks USB drive will give you the ease of installing it to all your computers with a few clicks also if you're running OS X Leopard you aren't able to access or download the Mac App Store to download Mavericks, so this method would be the best. Now you may recall me doing a video like this back when Mountain Lion was released. I showed you how to do that manually uh, without any type of application, but today we're actually going to be using an application called Disk Maker X or Disk Maker 10, which eliminates all those other steps that we had to do whenever I did show you how to do that manually. Uh, and Disk Maker X or Disk Maker 10 takes care of all that. For you so first what we'll need to have is going to be a usb flash drive or a thumb drive whatever you want to call it and you will have to have a minimum of eight gigabytes so be sure to uh, get an eight gigabyte or higher usb flash drive now you will be able to do this on an external hard drive but do be aware with this method using an application it's going to actually uh, format and just delete everything from your hard drive so i'd recommend using a flash drive something that you won't be really using and you just want to have an os 10 mavericks thumb drive because like i said it's going to completely wipe out your hard drive if you want to use an uh, external hard drive with different partitions you're going to completely wipe it out uh, all your partitions and everything like that so I'd recommend using a USB flash drive. Now what we'll need to do first is go ahead and download OS X Mavericks from the Mac App Store. Now as I mentioned earlier, if you are using OS X Leopard, then you'll need to somehow uh, find a way to access the Mac App Store on another computer. But go ahead and download OS X Mavericks, simply click on download, and then we'll hit continue since I already installed it on my computer. That's why it's giving me this little pop-up right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue, and it's gonna download now this will take several minutes because it is a 5.29 gigabyte file. Now we also need to download of course Disk Maker 10 and once OS 10 Mavericks is fully downloaded we'll go ahead and open up Disk Maker 10 and here it's asking which version of OS 10 would we like to make a boot disk of. Now we're going to be using Mavericks 10.9 of course so go ahead and click on Mavericks 10.9 and then on this next screen it'll say it found a copy of the installer software in this folder which is the application folder. Now we'll go ahead and click on use this copy and then here's going to ask which kind of disk did we use. Now I am using an 8 gigabyte USB thumb drive or flash drive so if you are using an external hard drive something that I mean you don't care that everything's going to get wiped from go ahead and click on another kind of disk uh, but do be aware everything's going to be erased from that so uh, be cautious about that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hit uh, an 8 gigabyte thumb drive uh, because that's what I'm using. And then here it's going to tell you choose a disk you wish to erase. And then here we're going to go ahead and select Mac OS X install ESD. And then here it's just giving you a warning that the whole content of the disk and every other volume of the disk will be erased. So be aware everything will be completely wiped out. So if you have any type of information on this flash drive or on the external hard drive, be sure to back that up because it's going to completely erase it. And then we'll type in our administrator password. And then we'll just simply play the waiting game because this is going to take a while. It's probably going to take about 20 minutes or so. Now once that is completed, we'll see that we have our bootable flash drive here that has OS X Mavericks. So we'll be able to install OS X Mavericks onto your computer. Now that's going to be it for this video. Um, I just want to show you how to quickly uh, make a bootable drive using a very easy tool called Disk Maker X. Now if you did get lost in any part of the video, I'll leave an actual written guide down below. You can visit that. It's going to be on my website and uh, you'll be able to get step-by-step -step directions of how to do uh, what I just showed you right now. And also if you want to pick up the flash drive I used in this video, it is rather cheap, so if you want to go ahead and pick it up, I'll leave a link down below so you can purchase it for yourself. Now do stay tuned for my next video because I'm going to be showing you how to do a clean and fresh install on your Mac. Uh, that's I love doing that every couple months or probably like once a year or so because sometimes I just have things that I've just kept that are keep piling up, piling up that I'll probably never use in the future. 
Um, so doing a clean install or doing a fresh slash clean install, uh, it'll get rid of every single thing and it's going to make it like a brand new computer, which I love doing. Uh, like I said, every year or so or every couple months. But do stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very simple. Uh, go ahead and click the links down below in the description. I uh, may have that video already available uh, by the time you see this video. But other than that, go ahead and hit that like button if you did like this video. Not only helps me, but it supports the channel as well. And if you're not yet following me on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or Instagram, go ahead and follow me on those for future updates. All the links will be down below in the description. And if you feel like being awesome and you still haven't done so yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you won't be missing any of my future videos, uh, such things like this, tutorials, reviews on different products, and all that good stuff. But anyways, guys, appreciate all of you for watching, and I will catch you all on my next video. <laughs> all right. See y'all later. Peace.